At ArcGIS Enterprise 1061, we changed the way people can experience your WebGIS. And some of you have already adopted and started using ArcGIS Enterprise sites. But for those who haven't, let's take a look. Now, this is your typical ArcGIS Enterprise portal. And like most portals, one of the easiest ways to find what you're looking for is to navigate through groups. Now, this deployment supports a number of different teams across the organization, including business development, drilling, exploration, land, and operations. Now, as we took, take a look at this group, we see that it's laid out and functions much like any other. But overall, the experience doesn't feel very tailored for operations. And if I want the complete picture, I'm probably going to have to open several different items. So this is where ArcGIS Enterprise Sites comes in. We've changed things up by allowing you to build tailored experiences with your portal. So now let's take a look at this operations group reimagined as a site. Each site you create can have its own branding, own design, and of course, own data. Now, for operations, it's just as important to stay on top of what's happening across the organization as it is with what's happening in the field. And this Insights Workbook easily sums up all of the information I might need and is still completely interactive, allowing me to view information from com the competitive landscape or look at information for a specific trend we may be working in. And simply by scrolling the page, I'm able to get even more information. I can zoom into this emergency response services map and find out important information about the first responders who may be in the area. And at its heart, what ArcGIS Enterprise Sites is designed to do is make it easy for people to find the information they need. So here, members of the operations team have three different ways that they can discover information. They can use the search bar, choose from a pre-configured tile, or dive straight into the information that's been pre-filtered for another team in the organization. And for as beautiful and functional as they are, these sites are also incredibly easy to build. Let's take a look. Just go back to your portal homepage, click the app launcher, select sites, and you're ready to get started. Now there's no limit to the number of sites you can create. So let's build one for another team. I'll build one for business development. Ready? OK, create new site. Now, site configuration is a quick process that involves two main steps. Step one, enter basic information about your site. And step two, select the groups that you want to pull content from to use within your site. Now we're ready to start building. The building blocks of your new site can be found within the site editor. Under the layout pane, you'll find all of the widgets that you may need. Now, for business development, we will want to stay on top of what competitors may be doing. So we'll pull in the iframe widget that allows me to embed applications, and I'll configure it with an operations dashboard. And new at ArcGIS Enterprise 10.7, we have the ability to take these dashboards and extend them out the full width of the screen. This way, I have more real estate to see all of the important information that I may be looking for. Now, along these same lines of looking at a competitor, it's important to see their overall permit activity. And I have a web map that shows just that. So I'll use the web map widget to insert a web map into my site. Great, now I have a dynamic interactive map that I can explore. But overall, this doesn't help me get an at a glance look at what type of activity the competitors might be engaging in. So for that, I'll go back to my layout builder and grab the chart widget. The chart allows me to link data that is dynamically changing. So I will use the data from within the web map And now I have a dynamic chart that I can quickly see tells me that most of the activity in this area is new drills. 
The last thing I want to do for the business development team is make it easy for them to access information from other teams across the organization. Because to be successful, we all need to work together and have clear transparency of what's going on. So I'll use the gallery widget. I'll switch from apps to pages and quickly style my tiles. And there we have it. In just a few minutes, I was able to build a ready-to-use site that's been tailored for business development, giving them quick access to competitive information, charts, and even links into other groups within the organization. And even though I could have, I didn't have to write a single line of code. Thank you.